What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Truth TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe bell. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for all the latest videos. Also, you can catch up on the latest Philadelphia Eagles football videos as a reaction video after every Eagles game. But we're going to talk some news now. Ari Fleischer was under fire for comparing George Floyd's death to Compton Sheriff shooting. Yes, he did that. He compared the death of George Floyd to the shooting of Compton Sheriff's officers. Now, let's go into this article. It says, former White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer drew criticism on Sunday, September 13th, after comparing the shootings of two Los Angeles sheriff deputies to the death of the George Floyd. According to ABC, the two deputies were shot near the Metro Blue Line station in Compton around 7 p.m. They were reportedly hospitalized in critical condition as of Monday morning. Fleischer, who worked under President George W. Bush's administrative, retreated an eyewitness account of the shooting that was originally posted by conservative actor James Wood. The roughly one minute video appears to be filmed by an onlooker after the shooting and shows witnesses react to the incident and police cars rush to the scene. And the quote is, here's the reaction of an eyewitness to the ambush of two deputies shot in the head in Compton. The victims are in the background. No one is going to help them. Vote like your life depends on it. Blue Lives Matter. Woods tweeted alongside the video. When retweeting, Flasher compared the shooting to the death of George Floyd, who was killed in police custody after ex-police officer Derek Chauvin kneeled on his neck for almost nine minutes. When George Floyd was murdered, no one, not a single person, celebrated. This is depravity, Flasher wrote. Anyone could be gleeful that someone was shot, especially when the victims are police officers. This is sick. Now, let me continue. However, Twitter users have pointed out that the several sickening attempts to mock George Floyd's death have made rounds on the Internet since May, including the alarming viral video, The George Floyd Challenge. Multiple participants, including some law officers, were fired from their jobs or condemned online after posting, recreating, and kneeling chokehold show the news during Floyd's fatal arrest. I've seen thousands of comments on the Facebook media page about George Floyd with people ranging mocking from mocking his death to justifying. One Twitter comment uh, said, hell, that happens anytime someone black is killed by the police. I remember reading comments when Tamir Wright was killed and being disgusted. First, this is extremely disgusting. And second, yes, people celebrated the death of George Floyd. Not unless you're saying you haven't found a video of it. But I bet you really look like Woody here. You find it, you, you find it. Another wrote, you want to denounce hatred? Great. Denounce it on all sides. In July, three Colorado police officers were also fired for posting photos mocking the chokehold that was used in the fatal arrest of 23-year-old Elijah McCain. Now, here's the here here's the here's the bottom line. There were people out there that celebrated George Floyd's death. There was. See what Ari Fleischer, what you did, was you were selective in your tweets. You didn't go online. And you didn't do the research because if you've done the research, I've seen videos and videos were posted on local news and mainstream media where you have white people mocking the death of George Floyd, kneeling on somebody's neck. They were doing the same thing. So don't tell me people weren't celebrating. They were mocking him. Now. Am I sitting there saying those cops deserve to be shot? Am I sitting there saying those cops deserve to die or telling people to go out there shooting cops? No, nobody is saying that. But what people are sitting here and they're saying, they're saying, you know what? I'm not going to feel sympathy for police officers that were shot when people don't feel sympathy when young black unarmed men are knee killed, shot, choked to death smothered whatever beaten to death nobody shows sympathy for them 
first thing they say is, how are you going to martyr a criminal? How are you going to celebrate this man? He was a thug. He was a criminal. He, he committed crimes. That's all they say. So if you commit a crime, that automatically is a reason for you to die. And then you'll have people say, no, no, we're not saying that, but you were monitoring him like he was some hero. Let me tell you something. Do people have Russians with the law? Yeah. Do people go out there and they cause harm to people and they do stupid things? Yes. Yes, they do. But. When one of y'all, when it happens to one of y'all, you sit there, you'll say, well, that was years ago. Uh, he's changed since then. He had mental health issues. You know, he was getting his life together. How did you how, how do you know that George Floyd wasn't getting his life together? Even George Floyd's daughter said, um, little girl said, George Floyd is going to change the world. And to compare that to George Floyd, it, 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 I mean, come on. First of all, George Floyd, first of all, George Floyd is dead. Second of all, these two officers, as I last time I checked, they're in stable condition. Now, the person that shot him, yeah, was he wrong for doing that? Yes, incredibly wrong. And I do not condone no one, no one going up and ambushing a police officer. Because once you do that and you hit them police officers die, you automatically get in the chair. That's just what it is. But this is the thing. Every time when something when it happens to one of them, oh, you want to compare this to George Floyd. People are celebrating the cops getting shot. No one celebrated George Floyd. A lot of people were celebrating George Floyd. On Facebook. I can hear the ignorant comments. Oh, well, if he would have complied to the police, if he would have obeyed the law, if he would have not committed the crime, he would have still been alive. This is what we hear all the time. We heard it with Michael Brown. We heard it with Tamir Rice. We've heard it with a, a lot. Elijah. We heard it with um, Jacob Blake. If he would have just complied. And then the first thing they'll say, well, what about crime in your community? Why y'all going out there killing your own people, but you're not mad about that? Why are you so concerned what's going on in our community? You're not going in that community to help. So why do you care? Worry about what's going on in your own community. That's what I'll tell you. Don't worry about what's going on in other communities. Unless you go in there to really be genuine and help out the community, give money to build up these communities, then you can say something. Other than that, just be quiet. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this. Um, like the video and subscribe.